Hello friends, welcome to CRM Fine Art channel. This video is about portrait painting. I will be sharing you my approach on how I paint portraits. You can support the channel by subscribing and hitting that like button and the notification icon so that you won't miss any further updates. So I am painting the portrait of Chadwick Boseman. I have placed few lines just to make sure I get the face structure fairly accurate because to me likeness is what matters the most in portraiture and I think the best way to get that likeness is to carefully observe all the proportions almost all the geometry that is in the face I would suggest for beginners for those who are new into portrait painting to refer the anatomy of the face a lot of material is available online check for uh, Andrew Loomis method for the anatomy of the face one more thing about getting the likeness of the face is to make sure that the outline of the face is accurate as possible because even if we get the eyes the nose the lips etc right but the face the face outline is it working then our portrait will not give the best results we will end up with something that we don't want to end up with so it is important that we maintain the outline of the face I'm adding uh, some more little bit details on the face and you can see that by adding that outline I'm starting to get a likeness of the face now I'm uh, placing few shadow tones few dark tones on the face I uh, like to use a vertical uh, brushwork brush strokes because this helps me to cover things in a very rhythmic way and uh, it also helps me to simplify shapes which is extremely important while painting portraits also while painting any other subjects simplification is one of the top priorities of fine art painting I have uh, given the details about the painting materials that I am using for the portrait you can check it in the description box below and feel free to comment or ask anything regarding fine art in the comment section I am also learning to paint portraits and one thing I would like to say about portraiture is it is the difficult subject but if we practice this regularly i think our passion is all the encouragement that we will ever need to learn to por paint portraits very well so at this point i figured i need a new color so i introduced a new color burnt sienna into the mixture of uh, burnt umber and uh, yellow ochre and white this will give the skin tone a real fresh look I'm placing some medium darker tones on the face I'm constantly reminding myself to paint a lot in the mind before I place any brush strokes on the paper so this way I can avoid any unnecessary brush strokes which might later create a mess in the composition okay I have covered a lot of area with the medium dark tones I can move on to the next next step I'm placing a little bit darker shadow tones on certain areas this will uh, help create a more uh, three-dimensional look I don't like fixing brush strokes because 
every brush stroke as a certain energy of its own and if i try to fix a certain brush strokes the energy is lost and the boldness that can be seen in a fresh strong brush stroke it gets diminished okay now i'm introducing a lighter value into the composition light tones will add some life into the composition now i think 50% of the portrait is complete i can start thinking of the smaller brush strokes like uh, a little uh, warm and cool values or little highlights here and there some small sh shapes that will create a nice interest in the composition it's always good to take few steps back in the middle of the process of your painting and look at your own work in terms of viewers eyes so you will be able to point out things for yourself the things that you need to avoid in the painting and the things need to be added in the painting so once i've done that i can move on to painting the focal areas of the composition like the eyes and the lips i'm using a little bit of crimson for the lips eyes always attract attention so it's extremely important that we use some extra focus while we paint the eyes okay so those who are new to portrait painting i suggest you practice painting the eyes separately on a different paper in a different angles because eyes is what the first thing a viewer see when looking at a portrait also the nose and lips needs to be practiced in different angles you don't have to use color right away just practice in black and white because it's all about the tonal values in a painting okay i'm using uh, darker tones to define the focal points i'm using a little bit of uh, purple also for the lips okay for some finer details and some small shapes i'm using a synthetic brush because it is best when we want uh, some hard edges on the shapes things will pop out when we use hard edges I'm placing some darker values on the hair as dark tones will uh, connect all other shapes together and everything will start to work as one unit adding few highlights on the face using burnt sienna yellow ochre and white i'm trying to simplify now as well simplification should be a priority throughout the painting process because this is what will make a painting look bold and fresh adding few highlights on the lips sometimes it's helpful to sketch a portrait in charcoal or a graphite pencil especially the values so you can go back to referring it this will also help you figure out the right tonal values ok 
okay now i have added some white in the background and i'm moving to uh, paint the costume i'm trying to re- remind myself not to add more detail into the costume because the focus is on the face should be on the face and not the costume so simplification comes into play here as well and all i'm using is a little bit of ultramarine blue some black and white the costume here should serve as just as like a contributing factor into the composition okay now i'm using little bit more darker tones to define the props on in the costume and this will also provide a nice balance to the dark shape that is uh, near the beard area adding details is always tricky because one thing that i have learned about details is it's not how much we add in but how much we leave out one thing i would like to say for those who are new to portrait painting is to practice painting lots of still lifes because still lifes is where we learn to understand and interpret the visual elements of painting like such as the space line shape tone color pattern and form so all these visual elements are necessary for painting any subject in this instance portraits so if you practice the life more often automatically your study of portraiture will get better over time Okay I'm adding few details on the beard and few pure titanium white for the background I'm trying to keep it in an abstract form I'm almost at the end of the painting process and my painting is done I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and got some basic ideas on painting a portrait in oil colors and those who are new to the channel check out my playlist section i have uploaded quite a bit of videos uh, such as uh, figure drawing tutorials still life paintings landscape paintings etc and if you like the content consider subscribing to the channel and to all my subscribers thank you for supporting me so far and on that note i will see you in the next video thank you for watching